what's up everybody this is Christopher Groves for CG Gear we're coming at you with another video today this one we're going to be looking at uh, using the iPad Pro for gaming specifically I'm going to be looking at the game Call of Duty Mobile now this came in clutch for me because um, I really, really, really had a itch to just play Call of Duty. Now, I sold my PS4, wasn't using it much. I'm not a serious gamer, not a hardcore gamer, but I do like to play once in a while. So, uh, you know, things were tight or I had the opportunity to sell my PS4, get some extra money and put it where it could have been used. So I sold it, so I didn't have, an, uh, I didn't have a console. So... I had been trying to use my Mac and um, to play games, and everybody knows Mac is not really the gaming system, so you can't really play like Call of Duty and that on your Mac, especially if you have an M1 currently, um, unless you go through some extreme lengths to get like um, parallels and stuff like that to run games on your M1 Mac. So um, I was just like, you know what? Let's see what I can do with my iPad. It's got Call of Duty, and uh, um, I really want to try to run it on there. So um, I'm just going to kind of go through um, what I've been able to f accomplish. Um, I think I tried about a few weeks ago or a month ago, and then um, and then the, the controller wouldn't connect to Call of Duty Mobile. So it was super frustrating. Couldn't figure out how to get it to connect. But I finally got it to connect. Um, there must have been an update or a patch or something, and it works smoothly now, and it's just pretty awesome. So... Um, I'll show you what I do here. So I got the good old iPad here fired up. So first thing I do is I will connect my PS4 controller. So to do that, um, you would go to Bluetooth. My controllers are already connected, but I'll just start fresh just in case. So to connect the PlayStation 4 controller to your iPad, you would hit the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. Starts flashing, shows up on the screen here. So I would hit connect controller, light starts flashing, it's connected. All the games on your iPad seem to pop up. Hit Call of Duty. So that's firing up and it's loading. Oh, got some music going. Alright, so I'm in. So what I'll do is I'll just jump into a game. Battle Royale. Single. Uh, before I even do that, if you have an external monitor, you can plug that in. There it goes. Now I think it sent the sound to my external monitor, and my external monitor doesn't have speakers. Uh, and usually, if I'm playing, I would play with headphones on. But uh, what I'll do for this video is I'll just change the sound back to the iPad Pro. So I'll switch it from the dock connector back to. Okay, interesting. It looks like it won't play from the iPad Pro speakers, uh, but I do have my Office HomePod. I'm going to try to connect it to that and see if it will produce some sound. It might be um, delayed because it's Bluetooth, but we'll give it a shot anyway, just so we have some sound for this video.
I don't hear anything coming from the home pod. But that's okay. We'll proceed anyway. Usually, just put headphones on, AirPods, whatever you have that are Bluetooth, and they will play through your headphones without any lag or very low, low latency. Start up a game here. really really well so imagine even if um, you didn't have uh, Bluetooth headphones and if you had a screen like um, monitor like mine without a uh, without speakers if it has have if it does have like an audio Welcome jack then you'll be able to use that the match is about to start. or a headphone jack on your, um, external monitor See, it does work on the external monitor. Game's going right now, but I think I'm gonna unplug it just so I can get some sound in the video for when we start playing. So that's the other beauty of the iPad, because you can take it anywhere you go and play. Right, it doesn't have to be connected to anything. It's just free, right? So let's just jump to the land. So I'm not getting any sound. So I typically like to put this in a new order here. So the touch screen still works. So I'll play with a combination of touch and uh, Drop incoming. Friendly K9.
chicken dinner. I am the champion. Oh yeah. All right, so that's iPad Pro Gaming, at least for Call of Duty. Um, gets a thumbs up in my book. It's almost as good as the real thing. You Battle Royale, you got multiplayer um, missions that you can do. It's a lot of fun. I love playing it, and I love that I can take it anywhere and play it, as long as you have, uh, you know, Wi-Fi if you want to play um, the game modes with the other players. So, um, yeah, PS4 controller definitely helps a lot. You can play with thumb controls uh, if you really wanted to, but that's not really my cup of tea. Yeah, so for me, it completely fills that um, that 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 it's just to play a shooter game once in a while. There's some other good games on here I want to um, explore. I've been playing a few. Um, I've been playing a few of my uh, like old favorite favorites for Sega Genesis, like um, Sonic the Hedgehog and Streets of Rage and stuff like that that you can play with your controller. That's been that's super awesome, super nostalgic as well. And looking forward to uh, many more games to come. Not super. Rare impressed with like the Apple arcade games or anything like that I like I've tried them I played a little bit and um, I lose interest pretty quickly but um, this kind of stuff like the Call of Duty is pretty awesome um, I'm hoping PUBG um, will get some controller support soon if it has not already that's another one of the shooter games I love to play I'll even play that one with uh, thumb controls if I have to because it's just such an awesome game especially on mobile so um, Drop a comment down below. What's your favorite game to play on iPad with a controller? Um, and then let me know if you have any other questions. This is the end of the video. Um, please like. Uh, if you've enjoyed the content so far, like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And hit the notification bell so, you when the, so you'll know when the next video will be, will be released.